Welcome back to my humble shelter, Dr. Reed. Are you here to subdue me again? No, Sean. I just came by to see how you are. I feel all right. Why do you ask? Are you still feeding on corpses? No. It's almost as though the blood you forced me to drink has provided me eternal satisfaction. How is the sanitary situation in this part of town? I think it's acceptable. Fewer cases of sickness recently. I thank the Lord for his mercy. How are things in your shelter? Between the mortals and the immortals, I mean. Even if we're all children of God, I've always maintained a strict frontier between the two communities. What do you fear? A few years ago, a skull decided to pay a nocturnal visit to my sleeping customers. He got caught licking their necks in the dark. Since then, I have added a lock to the door. What if food became scarce? Wouldn't the immortals in your flock be tempted to feed on the living? Wouldn't you? The Skulls can feed on the dead, Doctor. And until Judgment Day, mortals will continue dying. How did you meet old Bridget? When younger, I used to patrol the streets at night, searching for lost souls. This is how I met her. It took me two months just to get her name. Now we support each other. Had you already visited their hideout in the sewers? Just once, and very briefly. Most of them are very discreet, and they see me as an outsider, even if I protect them. You really are a saint, Sean. Oh, no, sir, I'm not. But I know evil, and I believe goodwill and tenacity can make this world a better place. Have you seen Harriet Jones since taking her to Old Bridget? No. She is with the sewer scales now. I don't go downstairs. What happened at the Pembroke? I guess we recognized each other. As scales, I mean. She had but one thought. To punish. To get revenge upon everything and everyone. I realized I had to bring her here quickly. But why did she fake her own death? There was so much blood in her room. She attacked patients, too. I just lost her for a minute that night. When I found her, she had caused mayhem across the hospital. I slapped some sense into her, and we fled before getting caught. What happened then? We ran here through narrow streets and backyards. She kept saying that someone was talking to her in the dark, offering to avenge her. But I saw nobody. Would you let me listen to your chest, Sean? No, Dr. Reed. You already forced me to drink your blood, and I thank you for that, for I feel better now. But it was quite an unpleasant experience. It would help me greatly if you would allow me to give you a physical examination. I said no. I'm no subject of medical examination, and I intend only to obey and to kneel before God. Farewell, Sean. Take good care of your flock, and of yourself. It's locked, all right. 